In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a TikTok or YouTube short starting from a background like this to something that looks like this where you have all the input information and how you're going to animate it that will lead you to create a final product that looks like this and once you hit play you can have the visual representation and you can put in your audio on it you know for you to create an engaging looking shot or tiktok like video and display it or upload it to any platform that has this particular format that is revealed so let's jump into this the first step is to transform the slide size from a 16 by 9 to a whopping 9 by 16 which looks like this because this is required for upload to any form of your choice like for example tiktok as you can see they are all 9 by 16 or on youtube short which is also 9 by 16 so let's dive into this to accomplish this what we do first is to open our powerpoint by going to your window tab at the bottom left corner and once you figure out where powerpoint is and it looks like this this is where you need to pick a background or begin here by doing the following what we see is the dimension to be in 16 by 9 and enough for we to change the slide ratio which is also revealed right here once you click on design and you go to slide size we see that it is using the widescreen 16 to 9 ratio and in order for you to change this what we can do is click on customize slide size and once you click on that we have this originally given in this particular ratio and what you can do is to either do the following click on the slides to be of this form from landscape to portrait and once we have that it flips the numbers from width to height and from height back to width and for the notes you can which is what is at the bottom here you can either leave it a landscape or portrait it doesn't really matter at all so i will just leave it on landscape mode i want to click on ok you can click on ensure fit usually that is what i do but if you want to maximize fit that is fine to ensure fit this is how it looks like and once you click on that you're good to go the next step is to populate this particular background to what information that you want to present and in order to do that usually what i do is i clean out everything but sometimes you don't have to but i do that so what i do is just highlight everything hit on blank space and this is empty now to populate it let's go to a specific you know uh, template that i already created and what i'm going to do is from that template i'm going to transfer all the information copy and transfer it to this particular part right here now one thing that is really interesting to note is that some of this information that i transfer doesn't really translate from its original source to its current space so usually what i do is you know adjust it to the proper size which is the white background now when you are adjusting sometimes everything doesn't actually translate properly to the proper size that you want and position as well as you can see using this preview tool by click hold and dragging up and down now you can actually pick one as a start and then move everything else to whatever position that you want so usually what i do is i click on the background first once i deal with the background which is my new background anything else can be adjusted And once this is created, you can actually now look at how you can incorporate animation as it is shown at using these numbers. These numbers here represent the animation that is actually going to be happening on this slide. 
and if you want to see more you can see what the purpose of that animation is as you can see from the animation panel i want to add a new animation what you can do is and so once you are done you can click on play from one and you can see what you want to actually create when it comes to the animation and so this is what we are actually going to be using as our shot if you want to create an audio and attach it to this particular slide what you can do is go to record and once you click on record you're going to have audio with this icon right here once you click on this you're going to have to change the name to any particular name of your choice so you can call this intro to telescope and once you have that you can begin by clicking on this red dot symbol icon once you click on this we can now begin so three two one james webb telescope in here we're going to look at how we are going to go from in rocket to in space l2 so once you click on ok we actually have the time stamp right there which is approximately eight seconds now another addition here is will this audio file be played while this animation is going on we're going to see that next what we see here is that this particular audio is going to be played right after the question mark dot is played and so what happens is that what we have to do is change this here to start on click and once we have that it's going to be played after click on this which is with previous and what we can now do is click hold and drag to when the hedge begins to play and so what we have is the following james webb telescope in here we're going to look at how we are going to go from in rocket to in space l2 and there we have it once you're satisfied with the outcome what you can do is go to file and once you go to file you can save as in this case go to browser of your choice usually i have a folder that is dedicated to animation what i can do is just change this to intro to j w t i'll put it that way um let's put this as short and so once i have that you can change the particular save as type from powerpoint presentation to mpeg for video by that way you can have the video format of this short and uh, once you click on save you should be able to see the progress happening right here pretty much rendered now it's already video exported successfully you go to the specific folder of your choice and it is 10 seconds long well you can go longer than 10 seconds if you want usually the recommended is between or uh, less than 60 seconds for a short once you click on james webb telescope in here we're going to look at how we are going to go from in rocket to in space l2 so once and this is the particular final video that you have created and checked out and you're saying that this is actually suitable for any platform of your choice and what you can do next is go to any of the platforms that is of interest either being on youtube shorts or you can put it on your tiktok page or you can actually put it on instagram or any form of format that looks like your regular phone screen which is in the aspect of 9 to 16 ratio and once you're done with that all you can do is just export it to any of these mediums and that is pretty it for how you can create your shot in this case using your one and only powerpoint as you can see right over here couple of things to keep in mind is as follows you need to be able to know how to transform your 
format from your landscape mode to portrait mode by using design and slide size and then next is to input any information of your choice put animations in to improve attention of your materials and engagement and finally here is by not only adjusting the animation using the animation panel now but also exporting it or transforming it into a video format so i hope you found this really informative please hit a comment down below let me hear your thoughts about this by that way i can talk to you soon stay smart as always and believe in yourselves